Hey guys, it's Masatonic. I'm Bilingual Harukist. Mina san konnichiwa, Bilingual Harukist no Masatonic desu. Haruki Murakami, Book Guide Novel 2, Pinball 1973. So, this is Japanese version. And in this video, I'd like to talk about Haruki Murakami's novel. Oh, typo. No, N O. That's something weird <laughs> here. Novel. Pinball 1973 in Japanese, 1973年のピンボール。If you're not、uh, familiar with this title, this video is for you.、Um, I'd like to talk about this book. This is so interesting book. Actually, Haruki Murakami's second book, and it's really interesting. There are so many、um, kind of adage and、um, so many Haruki Murakami's essays and really into it. So, Uh, shall we get started? As always, this video consists of three parts first overview, second story, and third deep reading, the tips of the deep reading. So, first overview this book has been published 1980, June 17, and publisher is Kodansha, the Japanese、uh, publisher. And like I said, this is a second novel. Of Haruki Murakami and also second novel of Rat Trilogy. So, what's a Rat Trilogy? If you read the Haruki Murakami's first novel, Here's a Wind Thing, you can, find, you can find out who Rat is. Rat is a, a protagonist, a friend, very、uh, close friends.、Uh, we, we could say Rat is another protagonist. And then、um, Haruki Murakami's first、uh, trilogy, first one and second one, and the third one is the、uh, all, every,、uh, the, those three novels in, in featured Rat as a second protagonist. So, first one, here's the wind thing. And then this video's theme,、uh, Pinball 1973. And the third one is here.、Uh, Hitsujo Meguru Bogen in Japanese, in English, a wild shape chase. Actually, in the English market, the, this one, a wild shape chase,、uh, has firstly published as、uh, Haruki Murakami's first novel. But in Japan, before this,、uh, he written this two, these two book, novels. And、uh, one thing really、um, has a、uh, complicated is these second books. Uh, when, when he read them and published these two, two books, Haruki Murakami was not a professional or, or a full time writer. At that time, he, he, were, he had worked for his own jazz bar as a master. And then during his、uh, work of, as jazz master, he, he had written to these two books and published and、uh, got a great. A debut, and after that, he, he had become a full time or how to say 100% writer. And then, as a professional, professional or full time writer, he firstly written this one, A w i l d Shape Chase. And these three books, or we could say trilogy, is,、um, is every, every single.、Uh, No, <laughs> these three books featured a rat story. Rat, we could say rat is a,、uh, another protagonist. And actually, this series、uh, has a, one more book. This is a Dance, Dance, Dance in the Japanese version. Dance, Dance, Dance. The protagonist, protagonist is the same. I, or in Japanese, Boku. The protagonist is the same. Very slight, and the story is slightly、um, connected with each. But so we could say a four series of a Boku the series. But, or maybe much more simpler one is this one, a Rat Trilogy. And so, Pinball 1973 is a second novel of Rat Trilogy, we could say, a bit complicated. But at the same time, the Here's a Wind thing and、uh, Pinball 1973 is kind of twin of novels because. This,、uh, each novel is very connected. Of course, you can enjoy without, a,、uh, without reading、uh, Wind. We can enjoy the Pinball 
and vice versa. But if you read both of them and uh, how connected each part, you can you could, uh, you can enjoy more deeply Haruki Murakami's uh, world. It's very interesting. Yes, and plus maybe English reader much more easy to understand this situation because um, when published uh, English version of Wind and Pinball, uh, this is like this. It's an English one, so it's uh, contained two novels, uh, Wind and Pinball. So our uh, English reader might uh, much more better. Um, easy to understand. These two uh, novels are twin. And twins are also very important keyword. So this is the overview of Pinball 1973. So uh, let's move into the story. At first, um, the way of writing is a bit not same, but a bit similar to wind. Here's wind thing. Like uh, the way of writing is very simple, simple sentences and very short episode and the, and the, and then short episode in turn there not a, such a so-called story is not where how to say not a that story sense much more some episode some episode some episode on one on and then finally consists of some a uh, uh, little literature world that web writing is quite similar but slightly different from the uh, wind um, pinball has much more story-like taste, uh, especially a uh, lot of part. And then our uh, structure is a um, bit interesting. There are chapter one to 25. It, this is a very um, ordinary, but before chapter one had started, there are kind of long opening. Actually, but pinball 1973 itself is not so long. In Japanese, one has about uh, less than 200 pages. And then each page, it's not so hard to say dense. So in a way, we, uh, it will not take too much uh, reading time. But and from chap but before chapter one, the quite still a quite long opening uh, this book has. It's something a uh, very interesting opening. There are episode on episode. So many. It's like essay like way of writing. It's interesting. And then from chapter one to twenty five, basically. I's part here, pro protagonist or narrator's part, and the rat's part story is chapter by chapter told almost in time, no, not 100% um, in time, but basically in time in chapter one and the chapter one's eyes part and chapter two rat's part, uh, something like that. So that way we're a narrating. So, and then so in a way, you could tell that it consists of basically two parts. And the one part, I, I's part, is in Tokyo. And then the other part is Rat's part in Kobe. Kobe is a Haruki Murakami's born place. And then actually, in novel, it's not written uh, precisely Kobe, but, um, but it's, uh, it's de it would be Kobe. So that's just, I, I like it. So Tokyo part and the Kobe part. And the Tokyo part, uh, main character or protagonist is I, and there is some character surrounded I. And one is girl at the office, um, and I, I and he, his friend uh, co-founded a translating company uh, when, when they were young. And then they hired some girl at the office as a administrator. And then, yes, so these three people, and then, this girl is kind of key person because because not in this pinball book, but um, in the casino. Uh, no, he has wind thing, and at the very final part of it, uh, he a narrator <clears throat> got married, and and basically in in the wind story, narrator protagonist is uh, twenty one, but the narrator or protagonist had written this uh, or told, told this story um, when uh, when he was 29 and looking back to his 21 dates, that way of writing. And then very ending of the he wind, he said, uh, I became 29 and, and married. And then the, the person who married is this girl. 
So in a way, like I said, this is twin. And after Pinball 1973's uh, story, he got married this with a uh, girl at the office. And then next one, a wild shape chase, uh, very beginning of this uh, novel, they, they, they had divorced. So uh, this girl is quite um, interesting. Between each novel, she, she got married and she got divorced. So that, that kind of girl. And yes, quite a nice character. And my friend, my friend also uh, appeared in the uh, Wild Shape Chase and also Dance, Dance, Dance. So it's, he's another uh, interesting person. And also um, narrator mentioned at Naoko and Naoko is also a key, very key person, but it's the same name on the Norwegian with a heroine, Naoko, but it's not directly uh, connected to her because story is totally different story. But on the other hand, in the here's when the scene, there is no uh, girl, no girl who named Naoko directly, but in wins, the narrator talked about his ex girlfriend, three ex girlfriend, and actually Naoko is a third girlfriend who had killed by herself. So, and the, in the pinball, uh, narrator always uh, mentioned and thinking about Naoko. And then when one reader uh, read both, both this novel and then uh, the, I would say, connect each episode, maybe you can tell uh, the in Wind's third girl is Naoko, who um, remained the narrator in the Pinball 1973, so Naoko. And also very, uh, I would say, interesting character of Pinball is 209 and 208 and 209 twin, the twin uh, guards. The, this is very interesting character. We, uh, it's really Haruki Murakami world character. And then one, one day I narrator wake up on the bed and then he both side of his bed to 208, 209, I don't know which is which, but the, the guards are um, lay side by side. So that kind of story going on, so. And so in a way, we could say Naoko and two or eight and nine twin guards is a, a personal a, a aspect of personal face, um, personal uh, area of narrator. And the guard at the office and my friend are much kind of public uh, aspect of narrators. So with this character, um, I or narrator's part in Tokyo uh, had been told. And the, on the other hand, in Kobe, Rat, a, uh, the, these two characters, Uman. This Uman doesn't have a name, just called Uman. And the Jay, Jay is a bartender, and the same character on also in the uh, Here's Wind Thing, and then the same kind of same atmosphere and uh, conversation. Rat and Jay is very Haruki's way of writing is very uh, interesting. Yes, these, with these characters, uh, this story uh, had uh, taken place. And one thing I really like is um, on the latter part of the novel, the I uh, try to find out some pinball machine. So that's why uh, this title is named uh, Pinball 1973. And the pinball story or something called a, a looking, how to say, a chase of pinball like stories, very, very, very amazingly interesting. So it's like a, a bit like a wild shape chase because a wild shape chase is a story uh, can uh, look look for to try to f find uh, some uh, weird shape or uh, yes, sh sheep, wild sheep, wild, <laughs> sorry, I just uh, mispronounced, wild sheep chase, yes, uh, looking for, uh, search for some some ship and uh, like that in pinball 1973 narrator find uh search for some pinball then that story is very interesting the his Haruki Murakami's how to say storytelling is quite good even his very first uh stage of his career his uh, story storytelling technique is quite amazing so that's a story so and how should we enjoy this interesting book? My suggestion is here, deep reading. 
one one thing I really liked it is there are so many quotes we we can quote. It's like adage, adage like things. So first one. It's just about the impossible to be friends. This was my lifestyle in the 1970s, prophesied by Dostoevsky, consolidated by yours truly. So Dostoevsky is had been mentioned, and then um, actually in the Dostoevsky's and uh, some. It's very hard to difficult, uh, hard to find this same line in the Dostoevsky's novel. Maybe we can't find out, but the way of thinking, um, impossible to be friends. That kind of kind of how to say uh, loneliness or uh, solitude is a very kind of um, in common as Dostoevsky's work. And then I really like this expression consolidated by your story. In Japanese, in this line, we uh, like this. Dostoevsky ga yogenshi, boku ka katameta. The, how to say, atmosphere, the, the sentence has, I really like it. And he, another line, each of us had all the troubles we could carry. They rained down on us from the sky and we and we raced around in a frenzy to pick them up and stuff them in our pockets. Why? Why we did that? Why we did that stumps me even now. Maybe we thought there was something else. I also really like these uh, sentences because uh, these kind of hard say things, in even in common say say in some office and work situation or private life. The, the kind of I, I really sympathize with this, this kind of tendency. Uh, try to find out some some trouble, and at the, among that trouble, we all we could say, uh, what's the queer going on? Or why why uh, why am I in the, the that kind of trouble? But on the other hand, other third party people could say it's something like you you just you just um, find and correct that trouble, not trouble, uh, trouble coming to you. You you go to pick up the trouble, and then these these lines very kind of like it. We thought there was something else. So we, in other words, we misunderstood that thing, uh, trouble things as a uh, very important things. That kind of thing could happen in in the life course. So I really like this line. And the third one, each of each of us had to a greater or lesser degree resolved to live according to his or her own system. If another person's way of thinking was too different from mine, it made me mad, too close, and I got sad. That's all there was to it. I really like it. Yeah, very sympathize with this this line. Another person's way of thinking too different from mine, it made me mad, too close, and I got sad. First part, um, thinking was too, another person's thinking was too different from mine. It made me mad. It's very in common, especially these days, we could call it the divided error. So some people think this way, some people think that way, and they are very muttered uh, as a party with each other. It's very, um, some particular, uh, hard to say, aspect of this era, especially 2029, 2020, uh, no, 2020 and 2021. But latter part, maybe Haruki Murakami's like me, too close and I got sad. In Japanese, kanashiku naru. The way of feeling is I really deeply uh, sympathize with it. Same, same here, actually. And another one, walk slowly and drink lots of water. Um, good. <laughs> I re really like to walk or uh, kind of hike. Right. And next, it seems that no one could live without pride. If that was all one, ha all one had left, though it was too dark, way too dark. It's something like Raymond Chandra's uh, Philip Morrow series, like um, way of writing. I like it. And also, here's something else, said 201. Yeah, said 209. A real animal, I'm fraud, said the man. I really like this 
uh, rhythm of a conversation. And a real animal <laughs> It's really uh, funny and it's interesting. Uh, it's, um, as you, you might notice, I'm not native English speaker, so I, I can't read English sentences as native, spe native English speakers. So in a way, I have to, I'd say, I need to translate or uh, uh, interpret, interpret it to as a much more some my own language, Japanese. So, but in, in Japanese sentences, I read very kind of, of course, meaning is similar and uh, nuance is similar, but original Japanese text is much more, how to say, funny to me. And English is, uh, I, I just imagine it's same as Japanese nuance or not. So I, I, uh, I, I cannot imagine how the English uh, native leader read the, these sentences, how they or how you felt. So if you also like this line, uh, please uh, feedback me, uh, give me feedback. It's inter I'm very curious about that, right? In the final uh, quote, Rest in peace, this switch panel at the bottom of this reservoir. Yeah, I really like this kind of prayer. It's really like Pinball 1976 good phrase, right? And also, um, another way of deep reading is music. As uh, same as Haruki Murakami's other work, there are so many music featured, rock and roll, jazz music, and then from rock and roll or pop song, the Beatles, Rubber Soul album, and uh, Penny Lane. And I should point, I'd like to point out Rubber Soul. Rubber Soul is the, the twin uh, had bought the record and with a protagonist, uh, three of them had listened to uh, Rubber Soul. And uh, if you are a Beatles fan, you could tell what is the first tune of Rubber Soul. Yes, drive my car. So this is the first one. So when someone, especially at that time, record era, uh, or the listener uh, put on records on the record player a uh, rubber soul and then listen to it. First one is the rubber soul. Maybe they have, they, they ought to listen to it. And the drive by car is another uh, Haruki Murakami short stories title. And then I make a video of drive my car uh, before this video. So if you have interest, please uh, watch it. And uh, as I said in that video, in this year in Japan, the Drive My Car uh, will be movie. So in a way, very interesting. So, and then the one thing really interesting is the very uh, early stage of Haruki Murakami's novel, Drive My, Drive My Car, in a way also featured uh, in Rubber Soul. That's a interesting. And also, Mildred Bailey's, it's so peaceful in the country. This is a jazz tune. And I really like yeah, Mildred Bailey's singing. So uh, I put on the YouTube link to the, uh, to the description area. So if you have interest, please check it. But um, if you subscribe a Apple Music, in Apple Music, another version of uh, Mary Fred Bailey's singing, you can find. And, and also maybe you can find even in Spotify. It's so nice. Even in the uh, streaming music, they got a, a scratch noiseable record. That scratch noise is very, um, really nice atmosphere. And yeah, it's very nice song. It's so peaceful in the country, a nice song. And also Stangets, uh, Haruki Murakami is really like Stangets. Yes, and actually last year in 2020, um, Haruki Murakami published his translation work of Stangets, the Stangets, the biography. So, some of the in the future, I'd like to make the video for the, the Stangets book. So, but it's really nice. And then, especially in this Pimple 1973 feature, Jumping with Symphony Seed, the narrator are humming uh, with record, this Jumping with Symphony Seed. So, you can enjoy it when, when you're listening to these, these tunes. I put a link here. And also, a book. Dostoevsky, like I said, they, this one, uh, it's just about impossible to be friends. So this is my lifestyle in 1970s, prophesied by Dostoevsky. So it's not specifically mentioned about which works of Dostoevsky, but uh, if you 
if you have not yet read uh, Dostoevsky, Dostoevsky's some work, I highly recommend it, especially in Harik Murakam's point of view, uh, Brother of Karamazov and Crime and Punishment. These two titles is very essential to understand what Dostoevsky's uh, works. I already read it. It's very interesting, but too long and too complicated and too difficult to read through, but interesting. It's worth, to, it's worth reading. And also Kant, critic of purism. Actually, me, myself, personally, I'm not a, uh, how to say, philosopher type of person. It, at least to me, it's very hard to read through that philosophical work. But in this nine, people 1973, protagonists keep on reading Kant, critic of purism. So at least uh, I should um, understand what kind of um, how to say, concept had written in this book. Someday I try to find out. Yeah. All right. So that's it. That's our, our introduction video of the Pinball 1973. Um, I hope this video might help you to understand what kind of book and make you read this book or make you read again. So thank you for watching. If this video uh, you like it, please uh, give me a good feedback. And then I'm, I would appreciate if you subscribe my channel. Right, thank you. So see you next video. Bye.